Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 80030, Monkey Kid Staff Creations from the LEGO Monkey Kid theme. This set contains 309 pieces, two minifigures, and will retail for $34.99 in the US. This set does not come out until January 1st, 2022, but it was sent to me early by the LEGO group through the LEGO Master Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. I've also already done early reviews of most of the other January 2022 LEGO Monkey Kid sets, so if you're interested in seeing any of those, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out what's already been posted. But with all that being said, let's get on to the review. So the main idea of this set is that it comes with different transformations for Monkey Kid staff. And by default it comes with these three. It comes with a car, a mech, and a plane. However, these can each be taken apart and customized to make your own like unique staff creations, but first let's take a look at each of them like as they are out of the box. The car is probably the most simplistic one, but also in my opinion probably the best. I mean, it's a car. It's got four wheels, it's got a steering wheel, it's got a little windshield out the front, and one more is there to ask for. You can see with all these vehicles they have the top and the bottom of the staff somewhere, so you have the top of it right here and the bottom of it back here. They also all have this all new printed piece of Monkey Kid symbol. This is actually printed, it's not a sticker, and that's very, very cool to see. There's the seating area for MK, very simple, he just fits in right there. There's how he looks actually driving the car. There's a clip out the very back to, I guess, hold an accessory if you want. And that's about all I have to say on the main car for now. It's just kind of overall a very simple build, which is honestly fine, I like it for that. Next, we come to the plane, which is probably my least favorite one. I just don't feel like the wings are done the best, I don't know. It's a very simple design for the wings, but something about them seems very off to me. I'm curious what you guys think of this vehicle, though, you'll have to let me know in the comments. But yeah, you can see the front of the staff's right here again, as well as that printed piece. And then, of course, the staff comes back out the back right here, another one of those clip pieces to hold something. You have, like, the iconic Monkey Kid Cloud pieces coming out the backs of the wings to show it, like, propelling forward. And that's, of course, on both sides. The plane's also got, like, two more fin pieces out the back, which can be hinged up if you want. However, they probably look the best in their default form when you have them down. And then the cockpit just has this large trench clear windshield, which if you hinge it open, you can fit a minifigure inside. There's a little printed console piece right there, and then you can see a minifigure can fit pretty comfortably in. You just put them in like that, and then you close it back up. And there's how MK can actually fly the plane. But again, I think that's about it for this one, so now let's move on to the mech. And then finally we have the mech, which is very different from the other two, but I do quite like it. It uses the all-new SCCBS system that was introduced for Ninjago in 2022. I don't have any of the 2022 Ninjago sets yet, so this is my first introduction to the system. And I have to say, I am kind of impressed by it. It's definitely not as complex as, say, full-size ball joints or Technic joints. However, comparing it to, like, the $10 Marvel mechs, honestly, I kind of prefer this. There was this new piece introduced to represent, like, a bent knee or a bent arm. And in this build, it's actually used as both, and I think it's pretty effective. This build feels very stable as well and easier to play with than some of the Marvel mechs. So while it's only my very first look at this building system, I think I kind of like it. Very unique, very different, and I'm excited to see, like, the possibilities that this gives us. Moving up to the body of the mech, you can see there's that printed Monkey Kid symbol again. Up here is where you can actually fit Monkey Kid into the mech, here's a little printed console piece right here. And then coming to the arms, there are many ball joints, but you can see they use the new SCCBS joint. And in the left arm, the mech actually holds the staff. I know the mech's technically made of the staff, but it also holds the staff as a weapon, which is cool. And then on the other side, the armor is identical, except now it has a stud shooter on it. This is the newer stud shooter introduced with the 2021 LEGO Batman sets. And if you've never seen this before, you push down this gray piece right here. And then a stud or a circular tile will fly out. Next to the stud shooter, there's also two clips to hold any accessories that you want, as well as two more technicals right here. So if you want to move the staff parts to this side, you actually can. And then of course, here's how MK looks actually piloting the mech. You can see he's just sort of standing up in the top. But those were only the default builds of these vehicles. Now let me show you how they can be taken apart and combined and customized. So each one of these vehicles is built in different distinct sections and all of them can be swapped out with each other. So for example, starting with the car, the entire front section comes off like this. Same thing with the back section, as well as these two pieces on the side. With the plane, you can also take off the front and the back and each wing. And then finally with a the Mac, there's only three points of separation. Each arm can come off individually and then the legs come off as one piece. All these parts connect using this all new teal piece. You can see it's got two bars in the middle up there and then it's got studs on the top and anti-studs on the bottom. So if you have another piece like this one right here with clips on it, you can actually connect the two of them together. And when the two are connected, they're actually very stable to keep together. So thanks to this new part and this new parts connection system, you can actually customize these however you want. So here are all the different parts that you have to work with. You have to choose a body from these three over here, the plane body, the car body, or the mech body. And then you can choose literally any of these parts to add on to it. The plane body can connect four parts, the car body can connect four parts, and the mech body can connect three parts. And then these parts right here that were on the sides of the car actually have that new blue piece as you just saw. So you can actually connect these on and then connect a further part on top of that if you want. So I'm not going to show every possibility because we would be here all day, but let me show you just some fun examples. So let me attach these pieces back onto the car. And if I wanted, I can make a car with wings. I'll use that part out the back, but I'll keep the same front of the car. 
Yeah, and look at that. That actually seems very fun, right? Honestly, I think this looks more fun than the actual plane. I think this is really cool. Or if I don't want wings on my car, I could put arms on my car instead. And now suddenly my car has a cannon and a weapon that it can use as it drives along the ground. And you can see, look, it still works as a car. Here's another fun combination. This is a mech with wings. Yeah, the possibilities for different creations from this set are pretty endless. There's so many different things you can do with it. And then if you start to take like each individual section apart and rebuild it into different things, or you just use your own parts to make your own like extensions, there's so many different things you can do here, and I feel like it's just so much fun. Like, look at this thing. What is this thing? I don't know, but it still manages to function as a car, and you can use it as a mech if you want. So much possibility. I think this is a really, really amazing set for play. But I'll talk more about my thoughts on this set at the end of the video. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. So here are the two minifigures in the set. We of course have Monkey Kid, and then we also have Monkey King. This version of Monkey Kid is actually new and exclusive to the set, and I think it's a pretty good one. It's a very simple design. He's kind of got like a training suit on, it looks like. So it's a very simple like white shirt with this red belt, and there's this very slight yellow cloud design on it, which I think looks really pretty. And then around the back, those clouds continue, and you can also see it has the iconic Monkey Kid symbol in the middle. This face print for him is very common, and honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed by it. We've gotten a ton of different faces for Monkey Kid, so you can't always swap it out. However, this is one of the most common ones, and it comes in almost every Monkey Kid set this wave. So I would have preferred if they gave us more variety instead of just giving us the same one over and over again, especially this face print, because I feel like it's not their best one. But that's a very minor thing, and you can very easily swap it out if you want. It's not a huge deal. His hair headband piece is also unprinted, which is cool to see. This is not the first time we've gotten it unprinted. We've gotten it unprinted in a few different sets, but it's always cool to see, because the printed version is a lot more common. And then just plain unprinted legs on this guy, which would usually disappoint me. However, I actually think it fits the suit pretty well here, so I'm not actually disappointed by it at all. There he is with the hairpiece removed, and there's his alternate face, which seems a lot more intense. And then coming to Monkey King, this is one of, I believe, four sets that this version of Monkey King comes in. However, this is by far the cheapest way to get any version of Monkey King, so it's very, very cool to see him here. And while this is not the best Monkey King figure, this is still a very, very good one. I mentioned this the first time I got this figure, but my favorite thing about him is the way the tail is actually printed at the front. It's got this yellow printing at the front, so it actually transitions from the torso well into the legs. You don't have a random line in the middle that matches the color of the tail, instead it matches the color of the torso, which is really, really nice looking. The torso itself is rather simple, but I think it fits Monkey King. King well enough, and his legs are actually dual molded and have side leg printing, which is very cool to see. The side leg printing is minimal, but it is still very nice. And you can see it's like that on both sides. On this side of Monkey King's face, you can see he's just very happy. And then if we come to the back, his alternate face, he seems to be a bit more angry. Yeah, very simple design for this guy, but I think it fits him perfectly. I don't really have any complaints with it. Oh, and then in terms of accessories, we just have two staffs. We have Monkey King's actual staff, like the golden bars and everything. And then we have what looks to be just like a training staff for Monkey Kid. Not much else to say on these two, both of them very simplistic, but also both of them very great inclusions. It's awesome to get Monkey King in a cheap set, and it's cool to get an exclusive version of Monkey Kid. I think the minifigure selection for this set is pretty perfect, I don't really have any complaints here. So, what are my overall thoughts on this set? I really like this set, it reminds me a lot of the LEGO I'd play with as a kid that were all just about building and rebuilding and making your own creations. LEGO sets have gotten really, really good in the past few years, really detailed, really accurate. However, sometimes I do feel like they've lost that, like, rebuildability aspect of them. But this set just has it all. It feels like so much fun to me. If you're an older collector and you don't plan on like playing with this set, you probably don't need this one. There's definitely prettier sets out there. But I think for kids, this is a great set. The price on this one isn't great. It's far from the worst on Monkey Kid theme, but this should have been 25 or 30 But it's not as bad as the prices of some other Monkey Kid sets, so I'm not going to spend too long talking about it. But yeah, just know this set is definitely better to get on sale if you can. But yeah, price aside, I love this set. Minifigures are pretty great too. It's just a fun building experience overall and fun to play with. Would definitely 100% recommend this one. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. As I mentioned, go check out my channel to see my other early 2022 LEGO Monkey Kid reviews. And I think that's about going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, please press like and subscribe if you're new. I do LEGO videos like this almost every day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.